It's me, Hartman. You know, I haven't seen Iva all day. And she's not on night patrol. Really? Then I suppose Sonya will have to do it alone. Should I call the military police? Uh, no, maybe I'm wrong. Who knows what I saw? Maybe it wasn't at all what I thought. Oh, dummy lost an arm. Hide that! What if somebody sees it? What? You saw, so? I'm the only one who knows right now. If we hurry and get rid of it, this stops here! Huh? I need it. How else am I supposed to study? You murdered Isla just so you could study? Huh? Could Hartman have murdered Isla? I have to call the cops! No, Isla wouldn't want a family member to get arrested. Um, Barkborn? Well, I guess I'll just have to break the rules. Hartman, show me where you hid the body and I'll just take care of it. Oh, so you did see it then? I tried to be discreet. Sorry, I didn't realize it was only a mannequin. It's fine, I'm used to it. Oh, the bag seems to be a little too small. It should fit if we just stuff it in. Evo! Well, I'm here! Let's save lives! If just for Sonya's sake. How did you find out? By looking into the future naturally, duh, how else? If you knew this was coming, then why didn't you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> You'll never land one on me. No, don't mess with medicine! It's hard to take this seriously with that thing's goofy face staring at you. Yes, you make an excellent point, Isla. You rang, boss. Now go ahead and blow gently into the mouth. She wants me to waste my first kiss on a dummy? No way! You better do it. If you're not gonna take this seriously, then let me. I have to waste my first kiss on this thing? No way! Why did you even come here? People's lives are at stake! Stop screwing around! Okay, kids. Now let's practice getting the soldier on a stretcher and calling a doctor. Negative! You don't understand. What we really need more than anything right now is to learn how to come to the Major's aid when she's in trouble. Yeah, we want to be able to come to the heroine's rescue when she's in danger. Stick em, Trudy! I'm sorry, Chris. Forgive your sister for being such a clumsy jerk. I mean, maybe she'd be flattered by your sacrifice? It's a masterpiece! Wow. Oh no, looks like you are having a hard time. <laughs> what other things are we going to teach them? I'm planning a lesson on cardiac massage. Oh yes, very important. Should we get Shirley and Lynn to come help by acting as patients then? Nope, that's it. Go stand over there with the other pervs. Wait, why? I'm just trying to keep everybody safe and healthy. I poured hot wax into this mold and let it harden. Behold a Sonya mask! Good God, what have you done? I just smashed the clay onto Sonya's face to create the mold. A living death mask? It may be frowned upon, but I'd do anything for Sonya. Maybe I love her more than you love yours. <laughs> Wanna bet I'm the one who gets punished for this? Well, you're supposed to be in charge. Mia Fuji, would you get the torso for me? Sure, here you go. How could you? See? Why is it wearing Sonya's actual clothes? I put them on it. That is impressive. I don't like the fact that its proportions are inaccurate. Looking back, I should have taken more clay and gotten a mold of her whole body. <laughs> what the heck, Isla? Uh, are you done with your little act yet? It's my turn to practice now, thanks. I shall also be rehearsing a little improvised scene that might someday come to pass. Remember, no small parts, only small actors, so please take this seriously. I need you to dig deep, commit, and play your intentions, okay? Well... Since you seem so gung-ho about your scene, I guess I'll help. Good, remember to stay in character no matter what! Ah, what happened to your clothes, Sonya? You know there are male soldiers on this base too, right? So, why'd you decide to take this course? I thought it'd come in handy someday when we search for your parents. Oh, I can't stay mad at you. Oh, sweet Sonya! I'll be getting CPR! Hate to tell ya, but it's too late. <laughs> yeah, there's a big hole where her heart was. <laughs> no. Please, no. Is that me? Isla, how did this future happen? Hey, you guys. I've been able to foresee this. <laughs> I see. It all makes sense. I've died and become a ghost. Should we destroy the Major's dummy too? No, please don't. Um, listen. The Major won't have a good impression of you anymore. And people would freak out seeing them in the trash, so we should just bury them. Yes, you make a good point. Hartman put us up to the whole thing! But... I may be ugly, but 